And then she said, you don't have anything, but Cody wants you to dress like a puppy or a dog, too. So she gives me a white T-shirt with a Sharpie and goes, draw oh, wow. black spots and be a okay. Dalmatian. And I went, no. So you did that, yeah. I said, You should have planned no. that. So if Kylan, no, if Crowder tells me to dress up like a gay Chuck Norris, I'm good. If wifey tells me to dress up as a dog for my son, no. Makes sense. Should have planned better. Yeah. She said, yeah. well, you know, and then I said, no, 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 listen, I'm not doing it. She goes, but wear a white t-shirt and black jeans so you match us. I said, no. Oh, wow. You wouldn't even do that. Because it's a little chilly out, so I wanted a sweatshirt on. Okay. So I ruined, I ruined Halloween, You're but not, my son had fun. Yeah. He didn't know what was going on. It's for the, no, at that age, they don't. Yeah. We were, we trick-or-treated around the neighborhood. My rich. Oh, yes. We're going to get to the bit, aren't we? We're going to find out. Why the fuck this guy wore a fucking prime? Oh, by the way, I've got a bit of prime here. Why he wore a fucking prime um, outfit, even though him and Logan are on the best of terms. I'm hypothesizing that he just wanted to suck up to Logan and have him retweet or reshare or whatever that fucking post that he made, the horrible cringy one of himself, of him and his son wearing matching prime bottle outfits. So we're going to find out what actually happened. How did he get those outfits? Why did he do it? Does why did he have no shame? Why is he sucking up to a twenty year old? Like like just why? Original plan I was gonna be an alien and Tiger was gonna be the scream guy. But then my friend well, say alien. Well, say alien. Huh? We were we trick or treated around the neighborhood. My original plan I was gonna be an alien and Tiger Oh, okay. I thought you said alien. Okay. Trick treated around the neighborhood. My original plan, I was going to be an alien and Tiger was going to be the scream guy. But then my friends at Prime sent me this new Prime drink and they included two. <sighs> Fuck off. My friends at Prime. So now he's trying to act like he's a Prime um, sponsored athlete or some shit. He's on the fucking influencer list. This guy, man. This fucking guy. Why did you have to lie for? So he's trying to tell us, Brendan's trying to tell us that suddenly, out of the blue, on one of the biggest holidays in America that you have over there, right? Everybody goes crazy for Halloween in North America. That suddenly, out of the blue, this was the time when Prime wanted to announce that he's part of their team. He's part of the Prime Street team promotion team ambassador now is a moment and he's also wanting us to believe that he never announced beforehand that prime sponsor him or give him stuff for free he's only announcing it now why can't you just say he bought the outfits why is he lying that he didn't that, that he didn't buy them my friends at prime and anyway is that bottle is that bottle new is that is that a new color is that a new flavor i don't think it is I don't think that's a new flavor. I've, I've seen that before in the shops, that, that blue color. That's not a new flavor. So why would they give you an outfit of a supposed new color? And no, why, did, why, would they, why would they send you new flavors, but then give you an outfit that's from an old flavor? It doesn't make any sense, right? If they're going to push out the new flavor, um, they're going to give you merch that has the same color as the fucking new bottles. It doesn't make any sense why they send you an old bottle color and then send you new drinks. And also, why don't you have the drinks on you now? Come on, man. This is a lie, absolute lie. My friends at Prime, fuck off. I saw the Halloween Prime costumes, and I was like, and I was wow. like, uh, I don't think so. And then Tiger's like, Dad, he he's obsessed with Prime. His whole team's obsessed with it. Are you gonna use your son? Are you gonna use your child as a fucking human meat shield? No, come on, Brendan, bro. This feels like they, this feels like that baseball sting how he cancelled his European tour and then tried to use his son as an excuse. Oh, I cancelled the tour because my son wants to be a professional baseball player. So that's why I cancelled it so we can go on the hill runs at 7am with a literal seven-year-old. Come on, bro. I brought them Gatorade last game. I thought they were going to lynch me. They yeah. do, are yeah, not yeah, down yeah. for the Gatorade. Yeah. Dude, yeah, they're like, loser. They yeah. One stabbed me. But <laughs> was, was, was Joe uh, going as Mike Tyson? Who? Was your wife going as Mike oh, Tyson? Oh, the spy. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, did you catch that? Did Joe that's his wife's name, right? Is her name Joanna? And he didn't know who he who? Oh, for the Pure game. Right? Yeah. Dude, yeah, they're like loser and they yeah. one stabbed me. But <laughs> was 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 Joe uh going as Mike Tyson? Who? who? Was you <laughs> Joe's not one of the guys. Joe's not one of their guys. <laughs> he doesn't know who that is. You know why he doesn't know what, what his wife's name is? Because he keeps referring to his wife as my girl, my girl, my girl, my son's girl, my son's mom girl. Like he doesn't ever call his wife his wife or his girlfriend or whatever. It's like my girl, my girl. Brian, what about your wife? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Is your wife going as Mike Oh, Tyson? the spider on her face? Yeah. No, it's a spider. Okay. I like that, though. <laughs> yeah. But um, so yeah, he wanted hot. to be the uh, the prime thing. He's like, do it with me. So I ditched the alien. We went as the prime thing. When I say it was a hit amongst the kids, bro. Oh, really? Because the, the, I'm telling you, that's how you know prime's a billion dollar business. Yeah. Oh, yuck, Brendan, man. Have some fucking shame. I despise this stuff, man, because this is what Joe Budden does. Joe Budden does this too. He has beef with somebody and then he gets over it quickly because he obviously doesn't think he did anything wrong. And then he gets surprised or he acts like nothing happened or he acts like, oh, you should be over it too. It's a way of like, it's a it, it's another gaslighting type of tactic. Like we have issue, like clearly Brendan and Logan still have issues they have to resolve. Maybe they'll get over it, pretty much sure. But Logan did call him out on social. We all saw it, right? He basically called him a fucking idiot for how he responded to the whole Dylan Dennis thing with his wife and shit. So you'd imagine they're probably not on the best of terms at the moment because clearly Logan doesn't really play when it comes to Nina. And that's a bit of a soft spot for me. He doesn't like the jokes or whatever, right? Or anybody entertaining any of the Dylan arguments. And obviously, Brendan was at the point. So we all know what happened we all saw what happened we all saw how he reacted to it and now he's trying to make it seem like he's part of the prime promotion team and now he's trying to suck off their business a billion dollar fuck off man come on have some shame bro have some shame and again it's not like he's um trying to suck off logan because he's a great guy never met him or because he's like a really solid dude or whatever. No, he's just sucking off Logan this much because of his success. Like if if Logan was just some any guy, he wouldn't give a fuck about it. But because Logan's got all of this money, all this clout, all this fame, Brennan's willing to just do anything to kind of get into his good books again. It's so gross. The kids, dude, everywhere. Prime, prime. My, oh my son God. felt like a rock Expert star. Dude. Oh my you, God. you can't buy those costumes. So oh. he's the only one with it and has a device. <laughs> Is that true? You can't buy those. I don't want to Google it because I'm sure I'll get proven right or whatever. But saying you can't buy those costumes is a bit of a stretch. Come on, really? It's an yeah, I saw it. So I was like, blown Damn, up. It's bro. a legit costume. That's Logan look and at your Prime son. Look at, look at uh, Bob. Hold on. You hear what he said? You see? You see how he looked down? He didn't say it with his clear chest. Logan and Prime Center, he scratched his head and looked down. L lying. The way this guy lies is just so pathetic, man. Because no one really cares about this. It. it doesn't really matter, really. Even if you bought it for your son, it's a cute outfit. You both were matching. There's nothing bad about that, right? Just go do that. Nothing bad about it whatsoever. You buy an outfit for your son. You wear it. It's a bit embarrassing, but that's what you do as a, as a dad, right? You do, you do embarrassing stuff to make your kid happy. It kind of is what it is. But why would you lie about it? Saw it. So at least like, blown up. Bro. It's a legit costume. That's Logan look and at your Prime son. Look at that. look at uh, boss. <laughs> Logan and Prime sent that. Yeah, right. Look at that face. Is that? F <laughs> this guy is such a liar. Look at that face. That's the face of a liar. Logan and Prime sent that. Yeah, Logan and Prime. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Prime and Logan. Oh, this guy. So at least like, blown up. It's bro. a legit costume. That's Logan look and at your Prime son. Look at, look at uh, Boston. Boston was dead serious as a zombie. 